for another episode of our CNC Wellness Meal Prep Series. I am Janet Rankin Henry, owner and operator of CNC Wellness Limited and Nutritionist. Today we'll be looking at how to make healthy, um, we, we, we like to say in Jamaica, fried chicken, how to make a healthy chicken which tastes like fried chicken, but it's really not fried chicken, but it tastes just as nice and and crunchy like fried chicken now many of our clients sometimes come to us and they are saying you know one of their major challenges that they really want to eat fried foods they they they, they, are, they grow up on fried foods and they don't know how to break out of it whether it's fried chicken or fried fish or you know some kind of fried food and so we when we started cnc wellness one of our main goal was to find healthier alternative that you can still enjoy you know the crunchiness of particular meals but you will actually have healthier options and so today we'll be looking at one our shake and bake chicken and you can always order this from us so we're going to look at the different ingredients that we can use to gain that crunchy feeling so first of all you would have gotten your your chicken and of course you would have your skinless chicken it's important for you to do skinless meat why the skin has a lot of fat so you remove all the skin from the meat itself and you, of course you do your natural seasoning so you could get your seasoning your your onions your tomatoes your peppers your green peppers and all you do is blend in your blender so you use it in your blender blend have your chicken have your seasoning and you would have seasoned your chicken so you use your seasoning on your chicken ensure that you season your chicken properly with all your ingredients and then of course what you would have done is to add your salt and your black pepper so you have your salt and your either your white peppers or your black peppers and you add it to your to your meat and of course you make it marinate for a good 30 to 45 minutes to ensure that it's properly seasoned and of course you would rub up your your meat and ensure that it's well soaked and you lay it to rest for a while for at least 45 minutes and then what you would do is get your egg white so normally when people are doing you know shake and bake chicken they would just crack the entire egg and use their egg yolk but what we're telling persons is that the yolk is very high in cholesterol so what you do is use your egg white so you use your egg you crack your egg and of course you use your egg white you put it in a in a container and of course you you would do the whisping so you use a whisk and of course you do the whisping and what you would do is um say with before about a good five minutes uh, a good two minutes and then what you would do is add your your chicken so or your meat to the egg mixture so you ensure that all areas are covered so this actually gives it it allows it to have a crunchy crunchy feeling you can set aside for a minute with the egg with the meat in in the container and then what you do you add your um cornflakes so you take your cornflakes and of course you would have um blended your cornflakes that it actually um comes in a, like a pulp form so you add the cornflakes mixture with your breadcrumbs right and of course you use also your black pepper again and your salt and you add it to the to the mixture here you mix it around right mix it around and then what you would do you would add this um chicken which is mixed with egg to the mixture to add it to the mixture right to give it the crunchiness so you notice that the skin is off so you would not have the skin to give it the crunchiness just this the, the meat in general right no oil used right and all you do once this is done right you would have had a pan maybe you have your 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 steam pan so you have your pan you can use this is called pam which is your um, canola oil or your olive oil and you just use one little spray just to ensure that you don't have the sticking of the meat in the plate in the in the in the container and you put it in your container and you stick it in your oven allow it to bake for a good 45 minutes and you will have had your crunchy chicken so at the end of the day, what you would have had is your nice, crunchy, fried chicken looking chicken, right? Where there is absolutely no oil. If you look on it, there's no oil, no oil. Because of course the skin was off, 
the skin was off so there is no oil it, it forms its own oil basically and uh, um it's nice well done crunchy you see the meat is well done inside so very nice and tasty chicken all you need to do is just put it in your oven and you put it in for 45 minutes to an hour and uh, there goes your chicken so the reason why we oftentimes you know encourage persons to do skinless meats and also you know foods which are not fried once you consume foods which are high in fat it will cause you to actually gain weight your cholesterol level will rise as well which is the low density lipoprotein and if you check on our instagram um, um channel you will see we went through a whole series of you know the difference between the trans fats and the and the visceral fat and and and, and how it how it accumulates in the body and once you consume out of fried foods and fatty foods you will find that you will actually gain weight you will your your cholesterol level will rise which will cause blockage of the arteries eventually heart attack and strokes and so you want to stay away from things which will cause you to actually gain weight and so we encourage persons to have you know foods which are on a healthier path which will allow you to lose you know weight and also for you for you to gain less um there are other options that you can do so some of my clients i encourage them to even you know try our fish options because we do meals for persons so we do customized meals for persons so instead of you trying it on your own we can also provide the meals for you some persons just don't have the time to prep the meal and to do all the fancy needs. so we take the stress out of it at cnc wellness we do it for you you can always con um, contact us by you know our telephone numbers which is listed on the screen or you can call us in you can you know follow us on all our social media platforms send us messages messages and we will do your customized meal for you and we deliver straight to your door a service i mean in in at this time is very welcoming so we thank you for tuning in to our session today and um, we will take whatever questions you have, whatever um, things you want us to provide for you. We can, you know, provide a, a good, good, provide information on various things that you want us to prepare. Or if you have any questions, we will answer them. Thank you very much for tuning in to another series. And we hope that you will subscribe with us and continue to, 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 to follow us on all our social media platform and join us as well for our our series in our in our series for other episodes.